Hi guys, Office Blow Dave here. And I am Ash with Boss Eyes. That's just, that's actually Ash's resting face. Oh yeah. It's just, she tries really hard on other videos to look normal. Dear. And I've just told her, just be yourself. I don't just know be how. yourself for this whole video now. <laughs> Until the end, be yourself. We need to rewatch the IT crowd because that episode with Boss Eye has just made me cry. Laugh. I've rewatched the IT crowd a couple of Have years you? ago. Yeah, it still makes me laugh when um, she wears those shoes and she doesn't fit into them, and she literally like breaks. It shows her feet. <laughs> Awesome. Go well, like when, when Noel Fielding comes out and she's like, I love your makeup. Good goes, makeup? I'm not wearing any makeup. Speaking of Noel Fielding, Great British Bake Off is back next week. I know. Which we baked on our channel uh, last year. We can't do that again. It was so much work. but It was hard to film separately as well because we both had completely different ideas on how to film. and Maybe we can figure out a way of doing watch-alongs and put them on Patreon. That would be fun. Maybe. And maybe we could still do a bake together or take in turns and have it to eat while we're watching. Because we know roughly that the week's like we'll have yeah, biscuit yeah. week and yeah. we could bake biscuits and have biscuits to eat while we watch and react to Bake Off. We shall see. We shall see. But I heard on the radio today that there's a new presenter. That's why when you said Noel Fielding, that, that reminded me. Is, that, is it Noel Fielding? Or I don't is know. Is it David Walliams? Who was a, with, with, no, it wasn't Walliams. What's his name? It was No, it was uh, Matt, Matt Lucas. That's it, Matt Lucas. Um, it's just because he's done loads with David I just Williams. heard the name of someone and they said there uh, and she's going to be making her presenting debut on Bake Off next week. They haven't replaced Prue or... I don't know. Or Paul no Hollywood. I hope it won't not. be Paul Hollywood. He is the show. Yes, anyway, uh, we're talking about Bake Off when we're about to do a slaughter to prevail reaction. <laughs> is that what we're doing? <laughs> yeah, that gets a bit darker. <laughs> I think all we've done is demolisher. Yes. Which I have to say demolisher whenever demolisher. I say that word now, but that's not how it's pronounced. I know, and I kept saying it afterwards as well because you got me doing it. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and then we will get into it. Let's do it. We ate that was the decor of you ever simulate. Broth we took, flesh we ate. Love through the pain, nothing but food. <laughs> Looks terrible, isn't it? That yeah. he showed me, and he went back to Russia, and he went looking for his bear, and the bear like came bounding over and was really excited. And to they see started him. wrestling, and then they like started hug, be like bear yeah. hugging, literally bear They're hugging. They're doing jujitsu. He's doing jujitsu with a bear. It's just mental. So that yeah. that is his bear, isn't it? I guess it's a bear he has a relationship with. That's mental. I mean, like the prosthetics as well. I have to say that that's some really good prosthetics, yeah. and I quite like at the start of it. It said masks a store as well, so you can buy their. You can masks. buy those masks. They're really um, cool. When we did it at the office, blokes. Uh, office but Daz thought he was buying an official mask mm. and he bought one off a, a fake website oh dear. and then the second he wore it on a reaction everyone was going that's bang out of order that's the worst fake blah 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 he did genuinely think he was buying a proper oh, one shit. he did, didn't realise what he was doing oh, no. until all the like comments blew up yeah oh dear yeah got heated maybe uh, for my Christmas present maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> uh, obviously they've moved to the States yes but then they've gone back to Russia to record a new album. Mm -hmm. 
and I know a lot of people kind of come for Alex Terrible because he's still a proud Russian. And it's like, I, th- I think everyone should be proud of where they're from. He, he's not the regime. He's not the people. No. F- you know, that have started a war. No. He's a guy that's proud of where he comes from. Yeah, proud of his homeland. I mean, it says made in Russia across his bulletproof you could, vest. You could say that the same about my homeland, like, like Robert Mugabe did, and it, me being a proud Zimbabwean. It's just stigmatised to be Russian at the moment. Yeah. And a lot of people think everything Russian has to be bad, but yeah. he's a badass. I like a lot of the stuff he stands for. Yeah. But it's one of the most Russian music videos ever made. The fact that... He's, he's got, got made in Russia. He's fighting a bear. He's got sixty six on his back. Uh, in a, 666. six six six. Oh yeah. 666. In, in a second, it's going to go to him with an AK forty seven and a tank driving. It's past. bad to say this all the time. And it's like you yeah. just need some vodka and an old babushka lady in the background, <laughs> and it is the most Russian thing that's ever happened. <laughs> You know it was real as well. I Guaranteed. Know. Was it was it a rocket propelled rocket propelled yeah, launcher? I think it was a bazooka. It was a bazooka. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh my god. It's so it's so outrageous. I love that the mask moves as well. Yeah. The music is good. I know we've been talking about the aesthetics of the video and how Russian it is. Apologies, it is about the music. It is really, really good. Oh. I like the chorus. I really do. I like the singing part and I like the proper like full on going with the drums, like the drrr. That's so yeah. much fun. So, so much fun. And, also, and probably Adi- poker. Adidas tracksuits is also the most Russian thing. I know. And when he was on the tank for a bonus point, he was squatting. Uh, yeah, and the Adidas the tracksuit squatting. Yeah. But I quite appreciate that the drummer is barefoot as well. That that always makes me smile when you see a musician who's barefoot because they always talk about how they can feel more of the vibrations and the music when they're doing it. I think you get a lot of like shoes and choice of shoes are yeah. a big thing for drummers. Yeah. You see a lot of drummers barefooted. Yeah. When they're doing that crazy sort of double kick. Yeah, absolutely. Because you won't be able to have that movement and that feel of how much pressure you're putting and things like that. Mm. It's it's a great song. It's it is brutal, isn't it? So much fun. Russian roulette as well. Russian roulette. <laughs> There's supposed to be one bullet in the chamber for Russian roulette. Not four or all six. Proper way to play it is just to have all bullets in And just die. <laughs> just <trying. laughs> That Absolutely was so much fun. Brutal. What a great song. Like, proper sick. 
he's an interesting character to follow on social media. Yeah, you've said. I I don't. He gets in trouble quite a lot because he, he said, like, we need to make metal manly again. And Ooh. I'm paraphrasing Ooh. there massively. But what, he, what he's saying is, like, he grew up listening to aggressive, heavy, in-your-face, brutal music. And it's kind of been co-opted by some quite not so much music and I got into yeah, it's different genres no no but metal it's traditionally is genre. like a heavy counterculture in your face sort of genre and I think he's saying it's lost that a little bit it hasn't it's just expansion of the genre I disagree with him Respe- I was paraphrasing so I do really like all his tattoos with my I like that pretty much he's got a full body like yeah. sleeve art going on yeah. which is amazing that music was awesome the musicians are absolutely epic that video was sick. Yeah, they're a fun band. They're an absolutely fun band. Like, I still don't know how I feel about Alex Terrible, but that's just personality, isn't well, it? Well, that's. I think that's one of the things. He's very outspokenly himself. Which is good. And good for you. People want everyone to ride the fence on everything no. nowadays. And if you have set opinions one way or another, loads of people are going to be like, I can't believe they said that. And it's, like, it's becoming illegal to have opinions. And that's why he's upsetting yeah. people a bit. Be yourself. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I'd rather people be blunt with me. Oh, how am I supposed to know? I don't like that fake, oh, I like you, and then whisper, whisper, behind I'd rather know who I'm dealing with. Yeah. So be you, and I can decide if I and like also, you or not. the reason we are so individual and we have so many people on this planet is because... I thought you were you flexing. <laughs> I thought you were just flexing your arms at the camera. I was emphasising my words <laughs> and my story. Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> I've got traps for days. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that too. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Let us know what to react to in the comment section as always. And we'll see you soon. Bye guys. Cheers.